we have improved a lot our text tool within the new version. We have added more options for typography. Also, added text on path feature which you can add text on any shape. Let's start with basic text tool. Click anywhere and type your text. You can resize the text box from the bounding boxes around. Also, you can directly change font size from the circle indicator next to text box. When you select the text layer, you will see all font and typography options on the right sidebar. You can change the font family here. We are using Google Fonts here and also working on a better interface for font selection and custom fonts. For now, you can see font previews on Google Fonts website. You can change the font size from this input or change the font boldness from this drop down menu. Set the line height from this input, also define the kerning from here. Select the alignment of the text from these paragraph icons. You can also fit the text box size as the text elements here in order to crop the unnecessary empty spaces. Also, you can click on this three dots menu to see more options such as the case options, decoration, or direction of the text. Now, let's talk about the text on path feature. You need to have a shape inside your canvas in order to assign the text on a shape. For that I have a circle shape on my artboard. I am going to the left toolbar and choosing the text on path. Now, I need to select the shape on my canvas. The moment I click on a shape, it is adding default text and wrapping text around the shape. Now, I can double click on the shape and edit my own text. Also, you can go to right sidebar and change the font family, size, kerning or any options like a normal text layer. Additionally, if you open the three dots menu, you will see path side and offset values here. You can define starting and ending point or the direction of your text on the shape. Any shape on your canvas can have this feature. You can apply text on path to triangle, star or ellipse, and even you can draw a line and wrap text on it. You can also import any SVG vector path and type on it. Again, the best part is all these values accessible for you, which you can create keyframes out of them and make cool typography animations for your text content. We will cover the animation feature in other videos.